Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 49 of Direwolf20's Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode series. Uh, last episode, we fully automated everything, everything, required to get RF Tools machine frames, which is super cool because it unlocks a whole new chapter of, uh, of, of, of technological machines that we can take advantage of. However, um, I'm fully vested in... in um, in, in, in mechanism, right? So my my plan for thermal expansion is to not use a whole lot of it. Some of it I might use, but like I'll pretty much just pick and choose what I feel is necessary or what I feel will be useful for me, right? Like there's no reason to do, for example, a redstone furnace because we already have a pretty good furnace chilling right over here, right? There's no need for that. Um, there's no need for the induction smelter because most of what the induction smelter could do can be handled by the alley furnace. Now there's a few recipes I think that need an induction smelter. Um, so what we're going to basically do is, as we go through things, right? Um, we'll go ahead and figure out like what's needed. Like I need an induction smelter to make this recipe, and then we'll throw an induction smelter down here, and we'll automate it and all that good stuff, right? So that's uh, at a high level the rough idea of a plan that we have to do some things. Um, in today's episode, though, I want to get around to making that cobble works. Having um, a steady supply of cobble, gravel, sand, and glass, and smooth stone, uh, to me, sounds like a really good idea, right? Uh, so for that, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves something super duper useful. Uh, I made the Tesla machine cases because I, I don't know how many of those we're going to need, but I'm going to actually just get three more because who cares, right? It's all good. Auto crafting for the win. Click button, get machine. I like, I, I, I know I spent a lot of the last few episodes doing a lot of auto crafting work, but this means that we can now proceed forward um, because we've got a lot of infrastructure in place, right? Whereas before, if I said I need, you know, some Tesla machine lib case things, um, it would take a lot of effort to get. Now it's like click the button and it'll show up in a few seconds, right? So all that auto crafting is really going to serve us going forward. Um, I would like to get myself a material stonework factory because we know that that is a super cool uh, thing to have, right? So let's get like three of them to start and then we'll figure out from there if that's enough, right? So we're going to need uh, some more buckets. So go ahead and cook those up for me real quick, buddy. Isn't it cool? Just hearing it, just hearing all the stamping and the auto crafting and all the good stuff happening. Um, it's just a, it's music to my ears. Um, and and we'll, we'll knock out a few other miscellaneous tasks this episode um, to make sure that we have everything that we want to have in preparation <coughs> for everything we need to do, right? Um, Funny story, not sure if you guys noticed it, but last episode, like, water... Oh, an episode or two back, I broke a block here and water came spilling down. It totally obsidianized my lava. So I had to go break that block because my uh, my generator shut down. So that was fun. That was a good time. Right? So that, that that's Material Stonework Factory. Yay! Two. We're going to start with three and see how we go from there. Um... And then we're gonna want uh, definitely a few drawers, right? So I'm thinking. So let's 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 actually, um, and this reminds me, I should automate treated wood planks at some point, right? How's my? Oh, hey, look, quest quest complete. Good job, direwolf. Yay. Uh, you. Let's get let's get more coal. Coke. Or uh, you're the yeah, this guy. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, you're at a hundred and eleven thousand buckets, or a hundred and eleven buckets, hundred thousand millibuckets. It's cool for now. We'll let it. We'll let it keep cooking. Okay. Um. So we've got chests. So let's see. We want cobblestone, gravel, sand, smooth stone, glass. Do we want smooth stone bricks? Maybe. So like an even six. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, and we're also going to want a drawer controller. So let's make sure we have these void upgrades because we know we're going to need to void stuff, right? Well, actually, I'm not sure if we need void upgrades. We're going to hold off on those for now. We definitely want the key. Uh, we want a drawer controller, right? Bada bing, bada boom. Um, do you So you know how to make reinforced stone. Do you know how to make engineering blocks? Did I teach those yet? Really? 
I didn't teach those yet. I think I taught hard, but I don't know if I taught, you know, the soft ones yet. So, uh, yeah, redstone engineering blocks, pattern this dude, bada bing. And I probably need to teach you redstone gears. No, you already know redstone gears. Good job, Direwolf. I am proud of me. So does that mean you can make another one of them? Yeah, you can. Beautiful. All right. Um, all right. So, so for you, we just need door controller. We need more reinforced stone. Why didn't I find you when I did at industrial craft? I don't know. Sometimes that at sign doesn't work perfectly inside the context. All right, so we've got you guys. I right, need another drawer because I had to use one to make that thing. Um, and I also wouldn't mind some of you. Bada boom. Cool. Um, so that looks good, right? Because I'm going to move this such that its drawer is connected to wherever I decide to place this cobbleworks construction I'm about to make. Which leads to the next question. Where am I gonna put this stupid thing? Um, you know, we want it to be somewhere reasonably that makes sense. Um, I might, where can I, where can I do this? So I could move this setup that I have such that and, 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 and do I have like a, I do, I have a storage drawer downgrade in you. Do I want that? Or should I just like let this thing keep on cooking? Right, I put the storage drawer downgrade in there. I guess it's fine. Um, we'll leave it for now. But all I'm gonna do is move this storage controller to the drawer controller uh, and connect it to all the drawers so that it handles the dry rubber and it handles all the other resources that we're gonna produce uh, and potentially further draws in the future. So give me a minute to think about where this is gonna go. My gut says probably in this area, like maybe just right inside this wall. Um, so we could have like, you know, a, 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 a do, 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 do. Okay. Um, and then we could have like the drawer controller here, right, with this. And then uh, we want some tape. With you i think this will work right and then what i'm thinking is the cobble works itself can be uh behind behind the scenes here <coughs> so uh so that should change it so that we have seven channels in use here correct um and then we'll just you know connect up to that thing uh in a few minutes with this cable right but then um probably want like my destruction gadget here and we'll do like a little bit of a uh, of an area back here so what if we did yeah depth of like five should be cool let's do like left one two three yeah let's do like left three and right one and down one and up three one two three yeah that should be cool what would that look like? Sweet. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'm, I'm down with that layout. Sure. That's enough room for a cobble works, right? Yeah, should be good. And if it's not, then, uh, you know, we'll deal with it. Blood lamp sigil is cool. And then we can, you know, fill in the flooring here and, uh, and make everything purdy again. The only thing is we're gonna have to run these item conduits, right? Um, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem to, to get them pretty much. I mean, I can run it underneath everything here and we should be fine. Yeah, I'm down with that. I like that plan. I like it. So what we'll probably do, because this is all connected, um, and I really need to start thinking about replacing a lot of conduits so that we can de dire wire this place a little bit, right? But, but you know, for now, what we can say, um, uh, 
Hey, you were supposed to go there. All right, so you'll get power, right? So that now we can run item conduits. Is that how you are? Okay, I see. I'd like you to be less in my way for a minute. So what you're gonna do is go here pressurized fluid conduit and you will be extract and that's cool right so then now I can run my item conduits here but you're not connecting cool and cool right so your job will be to eventually connect to this thing Slightly dire wire, not the end of the world though, okay? Cool, so you are extract on brown. Great. Let's make sure you guys are all connected properly, good. So that uh, if I set you to insert on brown, and I take one of these out, it should go back up to a stack of 64. Perfect, perfect. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, cool. And because we basically have infinite of that stuff, we'll just void it for now. All right, I like it. So next steps uh, will be to get the cobble works piece up and running. Okay, I like that. And then we can, for the most part, see this is why we need a cobble works because I am out of stone. And frankly, I shouldn't be using uh, smooth stone down here because that's uh, usually a bad idea. We should be using bricks or something, but you get the idea. So a little bit cleaner, a little bit better. I like it for now. So let's do this. Let's get our cobble works up and running. So you guys are gonna have to be in here. We might need power, um, but we'll take care of that. So what I'm gonna do is just start with something like that. Um, and basically you guys are all gonna just boop, 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 right? So, so let's, what do we wanna do for actually making the cobblestone? Do we wanna have the thermal machine that makes cobblestone? Or, let's see. So there's cobblestone generators from nuclear craft. They aren't terrible to make, but they need basic plating, which is, I mean, just like complicated-ish, right? Um, so is there, so there's there's this guy from X Utilities too, right? And that uses GP a little bit, but that's not terrible. So we could do that uh, as a cobble gen option. What else do we have? Uh, we just have like the thermal machine as the other one, right? Um, the whatchamacallity thingy. It's one of these. I think I even have one, don't I? Because I, I made one that I never wound up needing. So it's not bad as a basic cobblestone gen, but we probably uh, want to have some upgrade kits with it, right? Um, so I think you don't know how to make any kits. Let's do let's do the four kits real quick. Um, now, some of these clearly are going to need... Um, so don't I have uh, quartz glass? No. Hardened iridium glass? No. I want you to use the one that I know how to craft from Ender.io, Fused Quartz. Can I use that for this recipe? Pretty sure I can. And remember, getting more quartz is a trivial matter. Come on, Chief. Make that Fused Quartz. Oh, right. This is the one that I wasn't sure if it would work. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Cool. Good to know. We're gonna have to figure that out. Fused quartz may be a problem for us. So uh, what else can make you? The alloy smelter. We might we might need an alloy smelter for that because this works manually, but it doesn't work automatically as we just learned uh, for reasons that we know. So that's a thing. That's gonna be tricky. Alloy smelter, are you terribly tricky to make? Not terribly tricky. You do need some reinforced subsidian and industrial dye blend in a simple machine chassis, which requires a hardened cell frame. 
Um, and titanium alumide plates. Oh. Titanium alumide is made in what? An electric arc furnace between titanium and aluminum. Seems reasonable enough. <coughs> or we can make it in the uh, nuclear craft one. Yay. And I think we've got titanium. I thought we had titanium. Uh, I might have it in here, right? Uh, magnesium, lithium. Did I not get titanium? So where do we get these guys from? Um, rutile ore. Rutile ore. Uh, or magnesium ore can apparently do it. I'm just looking if there's like another. Rutile ore. Obtained through advanced metallurgic fabricator. All right, so that's a thing that we're gonna have to look forward to. Magnesium ore. Looks like it only works with magnesium ore, by the way. Salt and carbon plates from IC2. So we do have some magnesium ore, which is the good news. We'll figure it out. I promise we'll figure it out. That's all gonna be future stuff, right? Um, so yeah, we're going to have to figure those things out. I got distracted. We should go back to working on, uh, that stuff. So let's just get like the hardened kit. Cause I'm pretty sure we can make what we need to make here in a minute. You know what? I just remembered I hooked these guys up to power and, uh, they produce their own cobblestone, don't they? So we don't have to worry about the ignis extruder. That's cool. That's not a big deal. So, um, we're going to want you know, cobblestone to be one of the things that comes out of these guys, right? So let's take a stack of cobble here and make sure that you're uh, being represented. Cool. So now if I set all you guys to extract always active. Yeah, I was starting to work on like, how do I want to get this? Let's teach the kits. And I'm like, wait a second, don't they make their own? Or am I crazy? Nope, I was correct. They make their own. Yay. The old dire derps. All right, so that should be cool. Nice. And you're extracting faster than you're producing, which is always a good thing. Um, and are you getting power at the moment? You are. Nice. I hooked them up to power underground, uh, just like so. Easy peasy wiring. Sweet. So with that taken care of, we're getting lots of cobblestone. Um, so I guess step two will be to, to get gravel and sand out of these guys. So let's make that happen. So you're gonna be in grind mode. So you're gonna do that, okay? You're gonna be in smelt mode. And you, I'm going to turn you off for a sec, will be in grind, grind, smelt. So that should produce glass, right? So with that taken care of, the only other thing would be two by two mode. So that we can get bricks as well. And then in theory, what should happen is all these things should, you know, do stuff. So you're making lots of that. Um, and they'll all augment the bottom line, right? So as the bottom line starts to back stuff, the machines will start to back stuff. And everything should, for the most part, work here then, right? So that should be a pretty good cobble works. Now the only other question I think I have is should I have a dedicated stonework factory for the purposes of doing something like compressed, right? Because if we want to go to the deep dark, for example, 
Uh, we're going to need sextuple compressed. We also need draconium and iridium and lithorite, which is a whole nother mess, right? Draconium, by the way, um, I, I, I can get it with void ore miners, but it looks like only tier six void ore miners get it. Um, and you get it in world gen from the deep dark or from one of the planets. It doesn't look like, or Twilight Forest. Okay, it has it. Uh, so the planets have it, but I don't see it in the overworld, right? So that's what's up. Right? So I'm thinking what we should do is maybe think about septuple compressed cobble. Like, is septuple or octuple used for anything useful? It's used in ultimate crafting to get, I don't know what. Requires a tier four crafting table. What's the output of this? I mean, it's clearly an end game item. So by the time we get to this point, I don't think it's gonna be a need. So do we want sextuples? Cause they're used, they're, this is the one that's used for the deep dark portal. Do I wanna start that process now? Um, Cause if we got another stonework factory, Right, so we're gonna need a bucket. I should I should have a better way of getting lava than having that little hole in the floor, right? Um, but we could do this. We could do this. Um, and this guy could be dedicated to the septuple compressed cobblestone thing. Right, so he'll be separate grid. Um, whose only job will be three by three craft mode. Right, and at the end of this, we'll have compressed, double, triple, quadruple compressed. And we'll have like a decent dish amount, right? Um, and then what we could have is maybe something like this. Maybe I'll disconnect you guys. And we'll have another drawer up there for that purpose. And that's just like passively producing a stupid amount of cobble for me. And that's the plan, right? Uh, so let's key that up real quick before something sneaks its way in. And then you can just be, so you will be insert and you will be extract. And that is cool. And because he's got a locked drawer of what he's allowed to have, um, he won't be able to extract anything until we've actually produced that thing that we need. So let's get, let's get our quadruple, right? So that's actually gonna take a minute. Even at like high speed, that's gonna take a minute. Um, but once we get one, we can throw it in there. All right, so then the last and final piece here. The only problem is, how do we connect? You know what I'm gonna do? I got an idea, hold on. Nervity panic. So you're inserting on brown, right? Let's do this for a sec. If I can make this look a little bit nicer, I'm gonna extract on brown always active, brown always active, brown always active. And now we're groovy, and that means these cables, I might need a few more of you. Oh good, I made some already. Uh, and the storage bus. So the only problem for me at this point um, will be because I'm not void upgrading this thing. So that's a little bit annoying that that's, I'd like your priority to be high, right? So that any cobble that I put into the system gets voided. The problem is uh, I want backstuffing in the stoneworks. And this is something I run into every now and then, right? It's just, it's a thing that happens. Let's make this wiring better, because I can. Because uh, we've got conduit cabling, don't we? Yes. So what I should be able to do and I am assured of the fact that it's a little bit cheaper 
probably to make the Emmy conduits, right? Because these is um, two fluics and a quartz for eight conduits. And these, obviously a lot more expensive, but it's two fluics and a quartz for four conduits. So technically you get twice as many Emmy conduits for the same amount of resources. So I should be using Emmy conduits more than I'm using the smart cables, but I just like the way smart cables look. Don't hate me. There, right? So now we should have access to like the 454 glass that's sitting right here. Sweet. I like it. Right? How cool is that? I like I like that. That's that's pretty nice. And if I need to get in here, easy peasy. Access to the area. All right. So everything's running smooth. I would say yes. That is a material stonework factory. Uh, cobble works in 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 progress. Only problem, like I said, is if I if I take cobblestone out of the system and, and the drawer refills and then I put cobblestone back into the system, <coughs> the problem then is that uh, that cobblestone doesn't get voided and it winds up going into here, right? Um, so I could like, if I wanted to solve that, right? What we could have is a trash can with another storage bus. It's gonna require, uh, it's gonna require another channel, which I technically don't have on that line right now because it's eight at this moment, right? Um, you guys are using what? Just two, I think, right? And this is the reason I like to have a P2P tunnel in between <laughs> my machines, because uh, yeah. But if I wanted to have, is there a way I could make this? Have more channels over here. Not unless I ran a whole new P2P chain. Don't like that idea. Um, but I might wind up doing it. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. So what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do is run a a, a new P2P chain here real quick. So what I'm gonna do is disconnect you, right? So that the storage bus is now disconnected. So that I can have a trash can over here. I'll show you guys how this is gonna work, right? So. Wow, this is gonna be horrible, but. Okay. Cool. Uh, so that is the one coming off there, right? So we have 13 channels in use there. This one uh, is the P2P subnet, so that's five to eight. Or five of eight, right? And then we just. Okay. Um, and then we can P2P this guy. And we're gonna do, where's my memory card? Clear this, copy the configuration 97B4, load it up. Oh, that's the storage bus, hang on. Make me a P2P tunnel, please. Shouldn't be too long. All set, All right, so P2P tunnel. Load up that frequency. Uh, get this thing connected here. All right? So here's what we're gonna do, right? Anytime um, we're gonna have a storage bus here that's gonna be priority five, okay? And we're gonna put all the materials that, that we wanna void excess of into here, right? So that's going to include sand, you, you, and you. And you know what? Sure, why not? Okay, so did I get cobble? Okay, so these things on priority five, right, which is a higher priority um then these guys right because this is zero so that's like the default and negative one is lower right so five is higher but it's not quite as high as this which is priority 10. so if i put cobble into the system right um and there's room in the drawer it'll go in there if there's not room in the drawer it'll go into this storage bus which is going to be you cool how cool is that right and then you get this so that you're up and running. 
All right, so that should be cool, right? So now, once, like I said, the cobble drawer is full, any cobble that goes into the system will go into the trash can instead of um, getting stored in the in the things, right? So that's two channels in use now. And that looks pretty good to me. I like that. I think that's I think that's efficient and cool. And if I'm not mistaken, that is uh, what we call the wrapping up point for the episode. And we can demonstrate this, right? Because we have a full drawer of rubber, right? So I take rubber out of the system, right? You're gonna craft a new piece of rubber for me. Now we've got one out of 64, right? So if I look at rubber, we've got 64. If I put these two dry rubber away, we still have 64. Why? Because this drawer was full. That's where it would have gone if we had room, right? So watch this. If I take a full stack out, right? And we have, you know, that in there and I throw this in, it's always going to be 64, right? It got there before it filled up the drawer. Go watch the video in slow motion if you don't believe me. Um, so what happened is like the first bunch went in there and then the remainder went into the trash can. Sweet. I like it. I like it. I think that's cool. Right, so I'm gonna put away all my stuff. It should wind up going, you know, where it, where it belongs appropriately. And because you're filtered to these types of items, right? Um, yeah. As long as we keep those filters in there, uh, then we're cool. And I think we're good. Yeah, I think we should be fine. All right, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We'll come back next time. Uh, we'll have more fun doing stuff. Let's just make sure that that tape, dude. Yeah, it did. Good job. Good job. I'm just making sure, like, this is a high priority, right? So if this filter didn't exist, everything that went into my A system would go into the trash can, and that would be a bad day for everyone, right? Literally everything would just go to trash, and that would be terrible. All right, so cobble works is in place. We'll let this run for a little bit. Next episode, those drawers will be full uh, or close to it. And for now, take it easy.